Well, hello. Welcome to my first what I eat in a day. Just shopping my freezer and pantry for meals. Today is Wednesday. This is a good day to do it because I'm running a little bit low on groceries. I'll show you what I mean. Freezer is pretty full, but my refrigerator is looking a little bare, but I'm going to do the best I can to utilize the things that I have to come up with meals. I'm going to start with the morning. I'm going to have some breakfast here. Well, that oatmeal and, yes, peanut butter. This has been in my cupboard for a while. Bought it a long time ago at Hy-Vee when it was on sale for a dollar a box. And there's 10 servings in there, so that's an easy dime a meal. I'm going to pick one and then put a scoop of peanut butter in there. My price point for peanut butter is I like to buy this when it's about $1.50. I don't like to pay over $2 for this little size container like putting the peanut butter in because it gives it a little extra boost of protein. And I'm going to have that with some orange juice. Another high V item is the orange juice. I like to buy those when they go on sale. You can either usually get the apple juice or orange juice for 99 cents. And there's usually a limit of two, but you can always freeze that too. I always take out only what I think I'm going to be using when I serve myself or any member of my family because I don't want to waste. I'm not going to give somebody more than what they're going to use or then they just throw it away. This is actually my second cup of coffee for today. I really love this little individual single serve coffee maker. It's a lot more affordable than using the K-Cups. Recently I switched from buying the coffee creamer to half and half. This little pint was only a dollar at Hy-Vee. For my lunch I'm going to put together a salad for myself. Let's see. Some salami, I can use that as my meat. Let's see. I think my husband likes this kind of salad, iceberg, so I'll save that for him. I got this salad kit, the cucumber. If I peel and slice this, my daughter will eat some of that too. I'll check this. Maybe I can chop some of that up. Pepper, I'm going to use that today. I'll save that. Let's see, what else can I throw in there? Oh, a little bit of the beans, maybe. Mm. If I wanted to do just lunch meat and do kind of like a sandwich, but without the bread, I could use pickles. I've done that before, too. Let's see what I do I have for dressings. Oh, a sweet onion. Okay, I usually end up putting in some shredded cheese for my salad, but I think I'm going to skip that because I have some salami here to use. Cut that up and use that as part of my protein. Beans on the side too. And some veggies. Just looking through my refrigerator trying to figure out what to make for dinner. I do have two pounds of ground beef that I took out of the freezer. These I bought at Hy-Vee when they were $1.98 a pack. So two of those make some uh, meatloaf. I don't have any milk. So I'm going to get a little creative and use a little bit of my half and half. And I don't have any eggs either. And for something to hold it all together, I'm just going to shake this and use the crumbs from the crackers. I notice I have a lot of the instant potatoes. This box is uh, about, well, less than half full. So I'm going to use some of the instant mashed potato. And I'll figure out something for frozen veggies. Looks like I have some broccoli and some peas back here. So I'm going to only take out what I'm going to use for veggies. The same with the serving size on the potatoes. Make what I think we're going to eat for tonight and then have enough to carry over for lunch tomorrow. I did notice that I have a gravy mix left, so I'll make that too. 